Yo, <laughs> you know, it's really crazy, isn't it? Because one of the things I always seem to get asked about is um, my musical background. You know what I mean? Like, um, what makes me like the kind of music I like and stuff like that. And a lot of people think that I'm just a rapper or, you know, content creator, or whatever. And, you know what I mean? For a guy in my age, I've got quite a vast, eclectic musical knowledge and experience. It's a bit of a mixed bag, like what I listen to and what I enjoy. Because even though it might seem like I spend all my time listening to rap music, I actually don't. I thought, you know what? Seeing as I never really talk about what my influences are in music, I thought, why don't I take you down memory lane? I mean, bearing in mind, I'm going to be 59 next month. So there you go. I'm nearly 60 years old. I've seen so much music, so many genres come, go. So what I want to do today is actually take you down that road, isn't it? A, a journey that I grew up listening to. And one of the artists I want to talk about from when time was there, Roy Hamilton. Do you know what I mean? He was very pioneering in his time and did a lot of things. One of the things he did, he was the first person to get Epic Records, their very first ever number one hit in the charts. So that kind of thing. So I want to discuss that and go through some of his histories as tribute to this artist and show you how great he is. So stick with me because we're going down memory lane and we're going to pay some tribute to a guy that I believe needs to be top up there when it comes to um, musical creation and the history of this great thing that we call music. When we often think about modern music, you don't often think about the origins of that music that we now listen to today. And because of everything getting so uh, reproduced all the time, you know, redeveloped and re-engineered, we, we lose a lot of sense of where these music originate from, the artists that originally created or um, developed that sound, that musician. And a lot of that gets lost in translation after a while. So when people start talking about things like R&B, for instance, it's very difficult to imagine what R&B would have sounded like 50 years ago. To what R&B sounds like today, do you get what I'm saying? Until you start going down the rabbit hole. find that you see things that at the time when they were popular and you were growing it never even come into your equation so it's like when I now rediscover artists or listen to artists today who uh, use a particular style of music is it any different to what they were doing back then There's a secret path to love, but I can't find it on the home, darling. Walk with me mm, and talk with me as I go searching on. There's a love light in your eyes. And there's well, a to be very interesting guy. Oh. And 
Olympics. I don't know if his history is as black and white as people say it is, in the sense of that I think he's more of a collaborator with Elvis than he was being used by Elvis, let's say. Conception about um, Elvis's role in his life, and his family's life, and stuff like that. somebody to use and I think that Roy kind of like admired him for that you know because he was paying homage to it let's say I mean I'm not sure I, I I wasn't there so but I'm saying looking from his death his life and his career to when he died and Elvis's involvement in his funeral and all that kind of stuff I, I think there was more of an intimate relationship going on in their working environment than what people have been led to believe. I don't know, but that's what it looks like looking at the evidence that I've been looking at. do believe that he's somebody that should definitely be in um, the biggest Hall of Fame that we have, considering what he was able to achieve and did in music. Hamilton and Elvis recorded many sessions together, this one being one of their most memorable ones. I'm just a guy that appreciates great artists and good music, and I think Roy Hamilton is a, a good way to kick off this new series that I'm bringing. <laughs> Street. That's where we always meet. Hiding in shadows where we don't belong. Living in darkness to hide our own. You and me at the dark end. Of the street, you and me. I know time is gonna take its toll. You have to pay for the love we stole. It's a sin, and we know.
some of these artists and seeing what kind of influence they have over music today. A lot of us who you may or may not know are influenced even though we might do something completely different in a completely different genre but how these music still influence us to this very day. Unfortunately on the 20th of July 1969 um, Roy Hamilton passed away. He was only 40 years old but what he's left behind will live forever. So I'd like to say um, R.I.P. to Roy and my condolences to his family. A salute, a legend. And that is for me. Until the next one, stay up, stay blessed, stay real. You know how we do, people.